Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Mark 1 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Next to me is a Mark 2 Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. And next to that is a Mark 3 Porsche Cayenne Turbo S e-hybrid. And we're gonna have a drag race to see how the performance of Porsche Cayennes has changed over the years. Let me tell you about this Mark 1. It was launched back in 2002 and it had a 4.5, but it still has actually, they haven't taken it out. <laughs> it has a 4.5 litre twin turbo V8 with 450 horsepower and 620 Newton meters of torque driving all four wheels via a six speed automatic gearbox weighs in at 2.3 tons and when it was new it was 80,000 pounds the mark ii generation porsche cayenne turbo was introduced in 2010 that's actually a 2016 car it's the facelift and being the turbo s it has more power so it's 4.8 litre twin turbo puts out 570 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque it's got an eight speed automatic gearbox and it's so lighter than this older car for some reason comes in at 2.2 tons new that car was 107,000 pounds. Then we come to the latest generation, the Mark III, which was introduced in 2019. So that turbo SE hybrid has a 4 litre twin turbo V8 mated to an electric motor and combined it has 680 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. It's also got an eight speed automatic gearbox driving all four wheels. Because of all the battery tech, it's quite heavy. It weighs in at 2.4 tons. Now, before we race, let's just say hello to the driver of the Mark II KN. Hi, Yanni, how are you? Hi, Matt. Feeling nice and toasty in here because it's freezing outside. Yeah, you're right. The poor camera people who film this, you know, they work so hard and, um, yeah, we're just in the comfort, luxury and warmth of these nice Porsches. Hashtag true story. Shout out to the camera guys. So everyone say shout out to the camera guys in the comments and the editors who make these videos a lot more fun than they would otherwise be. <laughs> now, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to do it the easy way, you can do it through CarWow. You just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers from all over the country will bid on your car and you just pick the best offer and the dealer will come along, take the car away and put the money straight into your account. It is the easiest way to sell your car. If you'd like to check it out now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, at a later date, you can just simply Google help me car wow and we will help you sell your car. Anyway, let's go on with this. Buy, sell, car wow. Now before we race, let's do the custom car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this car. Oh yes. That sounds pretty darn good. Darn. I don't know, I'm not American. Go on Jan, you rev up your car. Sounds all right, not as good as this, but this does have an aftermarket exhaust. And finally, the Mark III, rev up your engine. It's the flattest. You can see what's happened as noise regs has come along. Cars sound increasingly less good, or decreasingly good. That's probably the best way to say it. Anyway, now we can race. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss a single upload. Finally, after all that jibber jabber, we're gonna do this. Race time. I'm going to brake boost, no launch control in this car. The other two have it. Oh! Such a Oh, look at them go! Oh my God! Just get absolutely dropped. Wow, I mean, off the line it was okay, but I couldn't brake boost it too much because it wanted to push through its brakes and that would have been cheating. And you guys had launch control and you shot off neck and neck, Yanni. How long were you level for? Yeah, this does get off the line well. And then car number three, he looks over at me and smiles and he just goes past me after a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Ever graceful in defeat, Yanni. Um... Turbo SE hybrid? Yeah, Yanni and I were level for all of first gear and then I just dropped the both of you. Power of electricity, mate, it is the future. That's what people keep saying. They do keep saying it and it is the future. But it's not necessarily a future that everyone wants. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the latest generation of KN won. Surprise, surprise. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. The previous generation KN finished in 12 seconds, while the original took 13.7 seconds. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in comfort setting and automatic mode for the gearbox. Everybody get level with me. I'll count it in. When we're at 50, first to the half mile wins. Level, 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 level. Three, two, one, go. 
Oh, wasn't so bad on the kick down compared to the others, but off they go. Here comes the half mile. So we're all kind of even. Well, I was even to the Mark II for the first like 10 meters. What was it from your side, Yanni? What do you reckon? Well, I just had a hair run in front of me and it looked like a baby lamb, quite a big one. Right, uh, what was I saying? Uh, sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> I don't know. Something about lambs and I don't know. I, I, I've forgotten. I lost, you came second and the Turbo SE Hybrid was quite a bit ahead of you. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. This is actually very nice. I'll be honest with you, it's quite nice. And even in comfort mode, it's all right. And uh, Tabo Hybrid, just easy win. It was an easy win, but I mean, I'll give Yanni his dues. I wasn't pulling away from him towards the end. So once I stretched a bit of a lead, he was holding on for dear life. He was doing a good job in that car. So basically, once the benefit of your electric motors, like instant torque, had run out, it was no difference between the two cars. However, I've got a big question for you. More important, obviously, have you got anything to report on like wildlife running across the runway, like baby lambs? <laughs> Just a couple of pink elephants, you know, nothing really. Don't mean white elephants, but I don't know. Anyway, let's not talk about the elephant in the room. The fact that this has got a Tiptronic gearbox, which is awful to use. Look with the weird paddles. They're not paddles, they're switches on the steering wheel. Why do they have that rubbish? No one there adopted the actual paddles at the end of the day. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go on with the race where I'm going to have to use the switches. We have another rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time in manual mode, sporty settings, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to count it in, get level everyone. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this picks up good. Oh no, they're gone. And I'm changing gear by pressing a button or what's on the steering wheel rather than pulling a paddle. Gear change now. Stupid that was. Can't believe they did it for so long. I was actually pretty good from the get go there. It, it was on boost, it took off. I thought I was in with a chance, and then everyone came past, and I was bitterly disappointed. Yeah, my car changes gear by itself, even though I'm in manual mode. So I know you don't care, but I thought I'd tell you probably for the best otherwise you might have left a gear change you sometimes do that remember mr gear change <laughs> oh why they're not changing gear yawn now we're going to have a brake test from 50 miles an hour this car's brakes have gone i don't know what's going on with them so you two have a brake test from 100 miles an hour and i will see you down there somewhere. So go on, off you go, 100 miles an hour, go on, you could do it amongst yourselves. I'll just watch from afar and I'll come past and see you won. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race. Get with me, get with me. In line, in line, get with me, get with me, in line, in line, 100 miles an hour. When the road changes, make sure you hit the brake, okay? Get with me, get with me, you ready? Okay, I'm gonna put my mic down now. <laughs> now, now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with some Porsche 911s, click on the pop out banner there, put the link in the description below. So what you can see there, the new hybrid model beat this car and Matt was nowhere to be seen. If you enjoyed these videos, click here. I'm very pleased to finally arrive here and see that you lost. Yanni, I'm very pleased about that. Oh, it was just you for the last few minutes. It was actually very enjoyable. <laughs> now I'd like to say a big thanks to the guys who've sorted us out with these cars for drag racing. So the owner of this KN and the owner of the Mark II KN as well. Thank you very much guys, really appreciate it. If you could go give them some love on their Instagram accounts or their YouTube accounts, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Also, if you're after a great offer on a sporty SUV, then you should head to Carwow. Actually, I've picked one of my favourite sporty SUVs, which is a great offer on through Carwow right now. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below, you can check out what that car is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, click on those windows there for some more videos, and on that box there to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks for watching.